it's time for an update on the pig. <laughs> so early, no, let's see, the last time I left you, we were done with Labor Day, not Memorial Day, as so many of you um, corrected me, and I appreciate that. It was Labor Day, not Memorial Day. Um, later that week, I did ask my customer care rep from Dodge if they had uh, any updates on the parts for my truck repair. And um, she emailed me back and told me that she had given me an update on Tuesday, but that update was from the previous week. And so there are no updates on the parts. The parts still had not arrived at the dealer. And the pig is not in any, any situation, any place to be back on the road anytime soon. It's just kind of in limbo. Having a cup of coffee this morning. It's, still haven't even had my first cup of coffee yet. Um, so, you can imagine the frustration I had with that customer care service rep. And uh, she was unwilling to answer anything. I asked her if she, uh, if she would even tell me which part, because evidently she's saying there's one part that the dealer doesn't have. Not multiple parts, which I'm excited about. Um, I tried to get an idea of which part it was. She wouldn't tell me, so I called my dealer. The dealer told me that they were missing a fuel rail for the truck, not the pump itself, which I don't know if it's a fuel rail assembly they're missing or if it's just a fuel rail. So I called around. After the video, um, some of you guys reached out to me and thank you for those of you that sent me emails to let me know about your trucks and the date your truck went down how long your truck's been in the shop i probably got 10 10 or 15 emails from uh from people in the same situation some of them a lot of them are rv haulers um trucks have have died with as few as 8900 miles to as much as 67,000 miles but um the the one of the guys that sent me an email about his truck being down with 67,000 miles uh the dealership tried to accuse him of putting bad fuel through the truck which is the same thing that Chevrolet tried when uh Chevrolet was having trouble with the trucks they they said that everybody was running bad fuel um but they didn't even pull a fuel sample in the truck when they diagnosed his truck as having bad fuel in it so he pulled his own fuel samples and oil samples and sent those in. It's unbelievable. So trying to find myself a fuel rail. I went to my Mopar parts to see if there was a fuel rail assembly available there. I was going to purchase that fuel rail assembly myself. The dealer has all my own parts. <coughs> or all the parts from Dodge to repair the truck. And they're missing one. If I can find that part, I don't mind paying for it out of my own pocket to get it to the dealer to get my truck fixed. Yeah, I know. Um, I also, a friend of mine called around to a private mechanic and he used my VIN number to tell me that the parts were on back order for up to four months. <laughs> uh, which, if Dodge knows that the parts are out four months, why have they not put me in another truck already? If my customer care service rep knows that they're not going to be able to get my truck repaired within a four-month window, why have I not got a new truck? <laughs> uh, after hearing that the fuel rail was what was missing on my truck, I called my local dealer where I bought the truck from. Now get this, this is gonna blow your mind. I called the dealer where I purchased my truck from as just an anonymous customer. And I said, hey, I'm looking for a fuel rail for a Dodge 2020 Ram 3500 pickup. And the parts manager there said, oh, yeah, we've got one. I said, well, I'd like to purchase it. She said, uh, okay, and uh, what's it for? And then I told her, you know, that I had a truck that was down. She said, well, all of our parts are tagged for upcoming projects. We can't sell you one. So then I asked her, I said, well, why you know, I bought my truck from you guys and it's down up in Indiana. And uh, the dealer up there is trying to get the part that you have for my truck. Would you please just send it to them? 
under warranty. No, it cannot happen. Will not happen because they've got it tagged for future upcoming project. I don't know, but evidently the parts are so scarce. The dealers that have the parts aren't releasing the parts to get to the trucks that need to be repaired to Dodge built. What the hey? You talk about a complete fiasco. There are parts available sitting in dealers around the country, but their parts are so hard to get a hold of, they're not willing to trade with other dealers or make sure. And Hey, then I called my salesman that sold me the truck originally, Red River Dodge. I will never buy another thing from Red River Dodge as long as I live. They've got what needs to take place to fix my truck and they won't send it to Elkhart to lock Mandy Motors. <sighs> you talk about steaming hot. Oh, I'm mad. I'm mad, y'all. Oh, I'm mad. If you noticed, I hadn't moved from the couch. I hadn't. I still hadn't had my first cup of coffee yet. I called the Attorney General, and I started a claims process with them. I read the Lemon Law, and the Lemon Law reads a little different in every state. Dodge is telling me that it has to be in the, in the shop for 30 days business days but the way the lemon law reads in arkansas it says 30 calendar days so we're 30 calendar days september the 15th <laughs> yeah that's tomorrow uh yeah it, it, this is a day ago mess i do have some other things cooking i've got to get back on the road i cannot wait any longer for dodge to uh, repair my truck. Uh, it, it, it blows me away how they are able to sell new vehicles. They are able to manufacture new vehicles. And uh, they've got a bunch. Just the limited amount of reach that my YouTube channel has and Facebook network. And I've gotten 10 to 15 emails on this. Um, that's probably a small sample of what's actually going on out there. Um one guy told me that there were 32 he he was at he was near a large dealership and there were 32 trucks that were down uh so i don't know when my truck's getting back i have no idea i know i'm tired of stressing and worrying about it um i'm trying to buy a new truck honestly i i've reached out and tried to and finding a a single wheel truck like that that has good towing capacity as a diesel blah 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 you know ford chevy dodge i hate to say i'd buy another dodge but uh maybe having two dodges that are identical as my friend told me he said at least then you've got a truck that's running and you got a parts truck you know we're talking about a brand new pickup that we're going to be using for a parts truck a truck that has one payment made on it it's almost been in the shop longer than I've owned it. <laughs> oh, hey, guys, I don't know when the pig's getting back on the road. I hope to give you some good news soon. But uh, as of right now, the pig is down and no end in sight. If your truck is down with a CP4 failure, oh, God help you. Uh, go buy you a new truck, all I can tell you, before your credit goes bad. Go get you another vehicle because you're going to be down a long time. Um, I do appreciate the original dealership that had my truck and told me it'd be October at, at a minimum before my truck was back. It looks like they really knew what they were talking about all the way back from the second day my truck was in the shop. Chrysler still won't tell me my truck's going to be in the shop a lot longer than that. But um, Chrysler Service Care, uh, <laughs> lots of things running through my mind to tell you, but you're the uh, the most disgusting service care in the world. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching. Know that I love you, and God bless you all.